Good evening, everybody, and welcome to this semifinal matchup of the 3A KHSAA State Football Tournament tonight featuring the Ashland Tomcats coming in with a record of 9-4 and four, and the Christian Academy of Louisville Centurions coming in with a record of 13-0. and 0. We're coming to you here from Christian Academy of Louisville, and I'm Tyler Rowland. With me here is Chris Pullum and Chris, man, it's cold, but you know what? Not a better time to be playing football. No, it's never cold. This is football weather. It's perfect. And here we are high atop Centurion Stadium here in Louisville, Tyler. And I wouldn't want to be any other place. And thank you for having me on with you tonight. It's been a, a season that I've enjoyed watching football games from home as I was our primary soccer play-by-play uh, -play analyst for the soccer season. So it's nice, even though it's the end of the year, my last time, nice to get back on the mic for an Ashland football game. And Ashland has their hands full tonight, don't they, Tyler? Facing a 13-0 Christian Academy of Louisville, Cal, as they call themselves, a uh, team that has some big wins on the season. But overall, as Matt Anderson had pointed out to me earlier on the drive when I was reading his message, when I shouldn't have been because I was driving, and please don't hold that against me, even though everyone in the car did, <laughs> Uh, Cal is 65, their opponents rather, are 65 and 86 on the season for Ashland, 103 and 66. And don't let that fool you because while Cal, uh, Cal has, had, has had some easier games, some softer schedule games along the way, they've played some really tough outs too and they've come they out have. victorious in all those, Tyler. Yes, they, they've won their games. Really their first real close matchup last week was against Paducah Tillman and the, once again Tillman went on a late surge in the year and gave Cal everything they wanted to last week, even leading at some points in the game and Cal would win 30 to 23. And no doubt about it, this is going to be one that will be a great match to talk about. And we're going to take a break, our first break. And we want to thank Clark's Pump and Shop for mm -hmm. sponsoring this. And we're going to take a commercial break. And we'll be right back. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Hi, this is Clay from Pollock's and we want to remind you to shop local with us for all of your jewelry needs and jewelry repairs. And remember that Christmas is coming up on us real soon. Thank you all for your support of 148 years. We are back here on My Town TV coming to you from Christian Academy of Louisville for this state semifinal game between the Ashland Tomcats and, and Christian Academy of Louisville, or Cal we, we call them. And this game has been brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. And 
Gosh, Chris, always good to yeah. always good to stop there. You know, we're fortunate to have Clark's Pump and Shop uh, so involved in promoting high school sports, not just in our area, Tyler, but you look at uh, their sponsorship of teams and and uh, of of. Uh, Producers like us, sports producers like us around the state of Kentucky, you'll always see that Clark's, Clark's Puppet Shop plays a huge role. And for us, listen, we're not journalists. We're fans. That's what we are. And, uh, by the way, if you're thinking you're going to have an unbiased commentary tonight, understand we are the Ashland announcing crew. So you might want to change the station if you don't want to hear uh, our potentially biased positions. But, again, back to Clark's Puppet Shop, they, they make it possible for us to do what we do. And, and for us to have fun bringing you the very best sports content in Northeast Kentucky. And uh, for us to promote our programs and promote our players. That's what we think of our partners. We're, that's what they do. Clark's Pump and Shop, KDMC. Uh, I, I don't want to start naming because I know I'll miss a few. But the ones who allow us to promote these young athletes, that's what we love doing. And that's why we don't have to do you know, every ad read between every snap of the ball and every play, you know, we don't want to do that. We want to be fans. We want to be fans like you. We're sitting next to you on the couch while you're watching this game. And thanks to Rick and Brent Clark and the rest of the Clark family for uh, for allowing us to do that, Tyler. Nicely said. They've been very involved in the community and always so willing to help our sports programs. And, of course, you can see – the results of there of what they've done it sure shows a lot of a lot of enthusiasm behind sports throughout the area and of course this this Tomcat team tonight um, we'll start by talking about Ashland nine and four record they've won seven in a row and you look at how they started their season a lot of them a, a lot of people counted out Ashland yeah Ashland really are off to a rocky start but if you think about it it's a super young team Tyler and you had a first year head coach taking over you mm -hmm. saw a lot of in those early games awkward moments between player and coaches players not really knowing where they're supposed to be a little bit of a scheme change from coach Tony Love but as the season went on they improved didn't they yes they came a long way and just looking at just how how far they've come I mean right now defensively they were allowing 35 points a game during that stretch in which they started two and four. Right now, they allow, have allowed around 15 per game in this last seven. And if you if you were to put this in the current rankings right now, Ashland sits in the low 20s in terms of points allowed per game. But if you put the last seven games, they would be at number four at 15 a game. And you look at that and just shows how far along they've come. And they've endured some bumps, no doubt about it. But this young team has been so resilient. And it's just unbelievable yeah. to be able to beat a, a team like Belfry that's had a lot of success, to be able to go beat Bell at Log Mountain. Right. And that's a hard thing to do. I mean, you've got the two top winningest coaches in state history between Belfry and Bell. And just looking at Ashland with, the, with three sophomores in the backfield, with um, with Strader, with Tay Thomas, with Braxton Jennings mm -hmm. that have played. You have a freshman center in Marushi that's stepped in after the injury to cash compliments. So just a lot of yeah. teams. Freshman Cam Davis has been playing quite a bit, so and he's made big plays, so a lot has come through. Yeah, and all credit to Coach Tackett and his coaching staff, but not all credit. Uh, half the credit goes to them. Half of it goes to these, these guys because when you're starting a season and things aren't going right, you have a tendency to start to splinter and break into your groups, and that's when the team really falls off the edge of the cliff. Not this team. They rallied. They got together. They figured out what they needed to do to turn this thing around with Coach Tackett and his staff, and that's exactly what they did, and that's why they're one game away from the state championship right here in Louisville tonight. Yes, and – and we're As going to take a – flying yeah. everywhere here. It's a windy night, so you might see the camera shake a little bit. Yeah, we're going to take a quick break and come back. You're watching My Town TV.
about changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. It is important to know where your food comes from. We source the best meats from the best animals. We are passionate about the animals and the process by offering custom and USDA processing services. At AW Meat House, we are a cut above the rest. Tyler Rowland here at My Town TV. Thank you to Clark's Pump and Shop for sponsoring the game tonight. And with me here is Ashlyn Tomcat head coach Chad Tackett. And Chad, over the last seven games, your defense has only allowed 15 points per game. Tonight, though, you're going against the number one scoring offense in the state, averaging 41 a game. What is, what is your plan tonight for, for the defense? What did you tell your players? Well, we'll you know, we'll be tested tonight. They, they have a really good offense and uh, high scoring offense. We just got to keep the ball in front of us and, and, and be physical tonight and read our keys and, and just g rely back to basics, you know, fundamentals and techniques. So the uh, main thing is just keeping the ball in front of us and being physical tonight. Mm -hmm. And then on the offensive end, you averaged for the first six games, two and four, with 160 yard, rushing yards a game. The past seven, 210 yards per game on the offensive side. How do you plan to utilize that tonight? Yeah, that'll, be, that'll be important to uh, control the clock, you know, a little bit, possess the ball and keep their offense off the field. But, you know, we just we got to convert on third down and, and, you know, sustain drives and get in the red zone and do something with it. Thank you, Coach, for your time, and we be sure to stay tuned. We're going to have Chris Academy Louisville coach Hunter Cantwell on next, and a big thank you to Clark's Pump and Shop, tonight's sponsor. You're watching My Town TV. Good afternoon, everybody. Tyler Rowland here with My Town TV. We're at Christian Academy in Louisville getting ready for the state semifinals. Thank you to Clark's Pump and Shop for sponsoring this game. I'm with Coach Hunter Cantwell of Christian Academy in Louisville. And, Coach, good to be with you here. First off tonight, talk about the keys for your team to win this game. Yeah, we're going to have to play a great defense tonight. Ashlyn Blazer brings in a, a vaunted offense, a very good quarterback. A lot of great ball carriers, very good out on the perimeter. So I think it obviously, you know, when you get into late November football, it starts with the defense. And offensively, we got to execute um, in all phases. Uh, Ashlyn likes to do some different things defensively and kind of mess with numbers in the box. And so we got to make sure that we are sticking to our keys and uh, just relaxing and playing football. Mm -hmm. And I know this has been a big, big goal for you to get to the state finals. What did you tell your, your players before the game about, about getting there? Yeah, you don't do anything different, right? You stick with what got you here. Um, so it's just relaxing, going out and playing, not being too tight, trusting in your preparation, trusting in their hard work. And if they do that, then we'll have a chance. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. Gunner Cantwell of Christian Academy of Louisville. We'll be right back here shortly on My Town TV. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you, and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. 
Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're on the move, you're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. We're back here on My Town TV. This this KHSAA 3A football state semifinal brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. Tyler Rowland here along with Chris Pullen, and the teams are meeting at midfield for the coin toss. We'll keep a watch over that. But Christian Academy of Louisville, talking about them, they are a team. They're 13 and 0, and they have not hardly had a close game this year. The exception being last week against Paducah Tillman. They've blown out teams like Lexington Christian Academy, North Oldham, both of whom have had a lot of success in the postseason this year as the Tomcats are coming out to the field. And we'll see who won the toss here and what the decision will be on it. But expect to see from Cal, you'll see a team that throws the ball a yeah. lot. Then Cole Hodge, their quarterback, he leads 3A with 41 touchdown passes as we're going to see what. So Ashland has won the toss and they have deferred to the second half. So Cal yeah. will open up receiving the football. And yeah, you mentioned they like to throw it a lot. Tyler and Hunter Cantwell down in his fourth year, 38-10. Uh, you know, has a pretty balanced team with 15 seniors and 16 juniors and a big 19-person freshman class. And they can do some damage. You mentioned a few of of uh, Hodge's favorite receivers. But the one that I'm most interested in tonight and I want to keep an eye on is number 87, Gunnar McKinley. He likes to get between that third level and first level, just kind of linger in the second level, nice little dump off from Hodge. That's where I think Ashland has been most vulnerable this year, those short passes across the middle. Mm -hmm. So look for 87, McKinley, Gunnar McKinley, to give Ashland some problems tonight. But as you mentioned, uh, Justin Ruffin, uh, a, an amazingly talented junior on this team. And defensively, it's uh, Gavin Copenhaver up the middle, one of the most dominant middle linebackers, a strong side linebackers in 3A, isn't he, Tyler? Yes, Copenhaver as, uh, as Cal is taking the field, the Centurions. And Copenhaver, what he does so well, I mean, you see him chop his feet, and he yeah. does a good job just maintaining gap discipline and yeah. – stopping the play. He does a good job wrapping up. He can make big yep. hits, but what's so impressive about him is his IQ. He knows right. how to get to the ball, and he may not always make this big, huge hit, but yep. he does so many just simple wrap-up tackles. Yeah, he and, and fellow senior McCade Batcher, you know, really hold things down in the middle, make it difficult mm -hmm. for teams to run between the tackles. Yes, as, as Ashland now takes the field for – kickoff and that will be Brandon Houston kicking off and, and and Ashland typically this year if you're watching from from Louisville Ashland typically has been a team that will has squibbed it on a lot of their kickoffs we'll see what they do all right Tyler you ready oh man excited it's going to be a great great <laughs> atmosphere tonight here Christian Academy of Louisville the leading offense in 3A as Houston kicks off, and here we go. It's a short one and recovered, and Cal will start at about the 37. It was number 15, Isaac Patrick, who handled that squib kick well, and you can tell they were ready for it. The instructions from Coach uh, Cantwell, field it and hit the ground. Don't try to make yes. the play. Give our offense a chance to go. 
And also as Cal takes the field, we want to thank the administration at Christian Academy of Louisville. We also want to thank Coach Hunter Cantwell and Cole Hodge for helping us a lot this week with the with the team as they're coming out. That, that's going to be their bunch formation. They have four wideouts. That's going to be Hodge under center as it's first and ten for the Centurions, and it's a play, fake, and they're going to go for the long ball first. And it's tipped away. Braxton Jennings got back there yeah. as – a, a, a touchdown saving play by yes. Jennings as he had to lay out to knock that one down because wide open on that crossing route for just a moment, Cotton. But Jennings with a Superman play to knock that one down. Yes, Cotton and Ruffin, two of the top receivers in 3A, they both average right around 20 yards a catch. They can catch it short. They can catch it deep as they're going shotgun trips. And that's going to be Hodge and Copenhaver in the backfield. It's snap and handed off. They like that little raw play. And there's room for Copenhaver. He's got a first down and then some. The big guy's still carrying the football and gets past midfield. That will be a gain of about, about 25. Yeah, there's some hard yards after that initial hit. He was five yards beyond the line of scrimmage before anybody touched him and then ran through two Ashland defenders before finally brought down, Tyler. Yes, and this is a team that they love to Copenhaver who who has 849 yards coming into tonight, although he averages right around eight and a half a carry as Hodge going to go back to the tight formation again. Man in motion, and it's handed off again to Copenhaver up the middle. Plenty of room again, huge hole for him, and he's going to get seven or eight. One thing you will, you will see Copenhaver – when he, you will see this team too. You will see a lot of trickery out of them. You'll see play action passes. Yeah. You'll see a lot of. You'll see draws. Um, you'll see a lot of motion from them. They really try to really try to keep the defense moving and on their feet. As they're coming back out now in shotgun formation. That's still Copenhaver and Hodge in the backfield. Hodge can run it too. Hodge is going to. He's looking, he's gonna go for the long ball and perfectly placed and caught. That's going to be a touchdown for Cal and that is Cole's younger brother, Connor Hodge with his seventh touchdown reception of the season. A 31 yard touchdown pass, yeah. good pass protection from the line and Cal gets on the board first. Yeah, the coverage wasn't bad, it's just that Hodge placed it perfectly uh, where the only the receiver could get to it and Hodge now with his 42nd touchdown pass of the season. Is, and that's a good a point year. to bring up. Congratulations to him as that is his 50th total touchdown on the year. He also has eight rushing as as now. And Connor Hodge has seven touchdowns, the fourth most receiving touchdowns on the team as the kick is up. And it is perfectly placed yep, right down the middle by Barrickman. That's his 80th PAT. And we're going to take a break. You're watching My Town TV. Return, refresh, refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop, return, refresh, refuel. And we're back with the Clark's Pump and Shop. State semifinals as Cal kicks off to Ashland. Jennings will handle that one. Jennings up the middle, finally brought down by a host of Cal Centurions. And Tyler, I'll toss it back over to you. Thank you, Chris. And so far, it's showing on the first drive in the kickoff. Cal has brought the intensity early. They hustled yeah. downfield. They do a good job. They'll get some touchbacks, Barrickman will, on the kickoffs, but you'll see them typically kick it right between 
the five and the one. Yeah. Usually teams have had the opportunities to return. But Ashland will start with it on the 16. That's straighter at quarterback. Up top at wide out, you have Houston, Adkins, and that's going to be Terrell Jordan up there as well here on this first and 10 for Ashland. And it's snapped, handed off to Jennings up the middle, and he's going to get seven or eight. So Jennings on his first carry. Jennings, a sophomore running back who picked up his 18th touchdown last week in the win against Bell County. As now Nate Freeze checks out, so Ashland likely going to a four wide set here. That'll be Adkins, Jordan, and Brown. Jared Brown is checked in up top. Houston isolated at the bottom of your screen. Second and two, and they're gonna go the quick out, and that's going to be Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, it looked to me like Cole got there just a, a little early on that one, Tyler, but Ashland not fortunate enough to get the call. Yeah, so that'll be a so, – so first pass is incomplete as it's going to be third and two straighter who has a nice completion percentage right around 60% on the season for Ashland, the sophomore quarterback as – Ashland now a third and two here. They need to get to the tw their own 26 to get the first down. That's Jennings in the backfield with Strader, and it's handed off. Jennings, he falls forward, and I think he got it on the spin move. Uh, it's close, Tyler. He's going to need a friendly spot here. It looks like he got it. I think they are just a hair oh, short, no, Tyler. They, yeah, they are now. Nope, that is. First down. So Jennings' second carry goes for a – a first down. Look for Ashland to try to establish the run behind uh, behind uh, uh, Christian and Frame over here on the left side. They've been getting a good push against that defensive line of Cal. As now Ashland with it, shotgun formation. Asher Adkins goes in motion, and it's handed off up the middle to Jennings, and he's going to fight for. A few more, four or five. Five-yard gain by Jennings. And that's what, really what Ashland wants to do in this game. They want to yeah. have, I think if you're Ashland, you want to have long, time-consuming drives and try to keep that high-powered offense off the field. Yeah, Coach Tackett made that point during the, the pregame interview, is that the, mm -hmm. the longer they can stay on the field with their offense, the less time Cal's explosive offense will be on the field. And as Ashland now, Strader drops back, and he's looking, and he rolls out under a bit of pressure. Strader's going to carry it, and he gets drugged down. And that, that is number 28, Brayden Robinson, the senior that got him. That'll be a loss of a couple. That was good coverage down Great field. coverage. Great coverage. They did a, that was more almost a coverage sack, you could say. Yeah, because Houston got loose at just the last second, but it was the, at the second that mm -hmm. LeBron Strader was forced out of the pocket, uh, so he, he didn't have the uh, wherewithal or balance to make that pass. But, you know, this, this Cal defense, especially up front, and their middle linebackers, Tyler, they're just tough. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, they are. Big, big defense up front. Third and seven. Ashland needs to get past their own 36 to get the first down. Ball snapped straighter with it, and he throws it deep to yeah, Houston. And he's got Houston. And that's deflected. A good job by number 15, Isaac yeah. Patrick. Almost used his body just to, yeah. as a shield to, deflect, to make sure the ball didn't get there. Yeah. And I'd like to see Houston make down. more of an effort to, yeah. to come back on that ball. I think if he does, he ends up getting the flag on that one. I agree. That Yeah, that's. I think it may have been a bit of mistiming on that. Yeah. Ashland now looking to punt, so the Tomcats get a go 0 for 2 through the air, 15 rushing yards, and will punt here on this. Now as Brandon Houston comes out, and I would get back quick. These special teams are very mm -hmm. athletic as – as Houston's punt goes nice up, punt. and it's fair caught. Fair catch call. That is nice number one, Connor Houston. Hodge, who had the touchdown reception earlier. So now Cal will come back out and take possession here on this first and ten. Yeah, the first drive, Ashland didn't send anyone. They just rushed four and dropped the middle linebackers back. And might see if they might try to pressure Hodge and flush him out of the pocket a little bit here, although – Mm -hmm. The running game with Copenhaver has been really strong running off that right side when you've mm -hmm. got guys like 
like yeah. uh, Ben Stotes over here on the right side. Yeah, mm -hmm. those are those are big blockers to run up the back of. And it's first and ten now as it's handed off to Copenhaver again. Halt, big haul there, and he's going to plow forward for five more. Isaiah Ingram hit him first, but uh, Copenhaver was able to drag him for another yard or two. That's 37 yards on three carries now for Copenhaver. Yeah, their line is getting a really good push against Ashland's front four. Yeah, and it'll take, and like you mentioned, Ashland, this is a defensive unit. I believe they've only accumulated nine sacks this year. And to, um, you look at like Tillman last week, I believe they were able to sack Hodge back to back mm -hmm. and get some heavy pressure on him, and they'll definitely have to do that as the ball's pitched out. And that's, that's going to be number 30, 35, Trey Cotton, the sophomore with it, and he will get the first down. And that'll be a gain of eight. Mm -hmm. So, so Cotton with his first carry gets a first down. Two first downs on the ground now for for Cal as they'll have a fresh set at midfield. As Hodge goes under center on this first and ten. And he hands it off, and Copenhaver, he's drugged down by Jared Brown, and that's yeah. a good job by Brown to keep his feet moving. And that'll be a loss of one. Hey, you notice Ashland stacked a little bit on that right side of Cal's defense there, starting mm -hmm. to anticipate the Copenhaver run off the right tackle. Mm -hmm. And that's what they love to do. They love to go to him there and Copenhaver one that can wear down a defense with his ability to move. And Hodge also, they haven't run him yet, but mm -hmm. he's accumulated 600 yards on the ground this year and one that can that does a real good job powering his way between the tackles as well. A lot of times on quarterback draws as they go back to the, to the gun on this second and 10. And man in motion, that's Cotton. And Hodge is going to drop back, and he goes over the middle. Pass is complete to Ruffin, who gets the first down. Yeah. And Ruffin, who's back after an injury. Good to see him back on the field. And that's going to be Ruffin's first reception. Yeah, Ashland back in zone coverage, and Ruffin just found that seam in the middle, and was in. Hodge was able to find him. Yeah, Ashland not getting any pressure on yeah. the – and I think that's what it's going to take. This is a quarterback that completes 74% on the season, and it's not 74% that comes from just throwing mm -hmm. a ton of screen passes. As they're going five wide now is Cal, and Hodge gets it. He's looking and has his receiver. It's met and caught by Connor Hodge. And Connor Hodge with his second reception. That'll be a gain of eight. A couple updates right now, Tyler. Uh, it, the Raceland Holy Cross game in single A, it is Raceland 7-0 over Holy Cross in the mm -hmm. first quarter. Pikeville up 22-0. And for our Ohio sports fans, Valley View leads Ironton in the second quarter 14-7. Wow. And it sounds like a great set of games going on tonight across the state. And beyond. Yeah, and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> On this second down, Hodge alone in the backfield. And Ashland Blitz is the linebacker. It's thrown out to the flats and caught, and that'll be Ruffin with it, getting his second first down. So Justin Ruffin wastes no time yep. getting back in the swing of things after that injury, and that'll be a gain of yeah. three and a first down. Hodge, who whose first pass was an incompletion, but he's completed four in a row since, now has 62 yards. And a score. Ruffin has has two of those receptions, both first downs, yep. and he has 23 yards receiving. Early, so. Other than that, uh, that Brown stop at the at the line of scrimmage on Copenhaver, so far Cal has had nothing but positive yards on every play. Yeah, as they fake the pitch and they go to the end zone and caught. That was Ruffin looked like as. That was Justin Ruffin, so Hodge now five for six through the air. He has he has 80 yards and two touchdowns, and, and Ruffin with his first touchdown of the game. It's now a 13-0 Cal lead yeah. here late in the first quarter. Another beautiful ball from Hodge, just perfectly placed at the back of the end zone. So now 
Now Cal will come to kick Connor Hodge holding. That is Jack Barrickman that's kicking. Barrickman who's 70 or as he's out, 81 of 85 on the air. A couple of those misses have been bad snaps. It's 14-0 Cal over Ashland here in the first quarter. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. It is important to know where your food comes from. We source the best meats from the best animals. We are passionate about the animals and the process by offering custom and USDA processing services. At AW Meat House, we are a cut above the rest. That's going to be a touchback. And that's one thing that always helps is having a kicker that can, yeah. can get, get the ball in that position. So Ashland will start on the 20. And Ashland now really needs a long, sustained drive. I mean, this game is already, even the, you're in the first quarter, down 14 nothing. potentially could get away from him here because Ashland right now has no answer for that Cal offense. Yeah, I think the intensity is showing. Uh, I think the experience is showing a little yeah. bit early. And I think, I think Cal looks way more intense and also, by the same time, way more composed as they're doing a really good job coming in. And, of course, Hodge placing some great balls as well as that pass is thrown to Jordan in the flat. It's caught, and he's going to go out of bounds after a gain of about a couple. Yeah, Cal was all over that, read it perfectly. So that'll be, let's see, actually no gain on that. So second and ten now for the Tomcats. So now they're coming out. That'll be Jennings in the backfield with Strader. Will be Brown, Jordan, and Adkins at the bottom of your screen. Houston at the top as it's going to be handed off. No, Strader will keep it. He's going to go around the left side, have a little bit of room, and get out of bounds close to the, close to the 26, 27-yard line. That'll be a gain of seven. That's what they needed there on second and long. And that's Maybe Riley third Wentz short on the situation. tackle for Cal. So third and three now. Ashland needs to get past the 30 to get the first down. Here as Cal has scored on two passes mm. so far, a 31-yarder a from Cole Hodge to Connor Hodge and an 18-yarder to, to Ruffin, who got his third reception of the game as Ashland now nickels in the backfield as well as Jennings cuts it up and gets the first, and that'll be a gain of five. So Jennings now, that's his fourth carry. And that's Gunnar McKinley on the stop. McKinley, who's also, uh, we talked about his ability yeah. at tight end as a true, I mean, college-style tight end. I think he's also a good defender as well. He does a great job planting his feet and a flag down. I think we have a sideline warning against okay. Ashland. Yeah. First flag thrown so far, but it'll be a sideline warning here as Ashland comes back out on this first and ten. Here as Braxton Jennings gets the first first down, 20 yards for him on four carries so far. As it's Jennings and Strader in the backfield, Terrell Jordan in motion. And it's going to be a quick throw to Houston. Caught and Houston going outside, he's going to get a couple yards and get thrown down. Yeah, not much of anything. Maybe a yard, yard and a half at best, Tyler. Yeah, pass was – I think they had the blocking for us. Co yeah. As Copenhagen – hey, and we're going to call his name a lot. Um, you see him getting back and making the big hit. So, no gain for yeah. – Ashland on that. I felt like they had the blocking in position, but the throw was a little bit high, and um, which is hard to do on 
and those types of – Yeah, but it just seems like Cal going, is so yeah. quick to the ball on those passes. They have a lot of speed. Those they do a good passes. job getting back there to – but as Strader now goes to Jennings, he has a reception and a first down. So Braxton Jennings over the middle. And Jennings, who had a touchdown yeah. reception against Belfry, gets yeah. the. If Samuel McCown was coming at Strader hard, he unloaded it at just the last second. So good heads up play by Strader to stay in the pocket, commit, and then make that dump off to Jennings. Yeah, let's yeah, add him over the middle now as Ashland now will be shotgun, freezes in it tied in, and it's handed off to Jennings up the middle, and he's going to get four more. All right, I like this by Ashland. Starting to establish the run. Mm -hmm. Their offensive line now getting a push. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to get a lot of long runs against that front line of Cal, but if they can chip away three, four yards of carry. Right. Second down and six yeah, that have would. those long sustained draw, uh, drives that Coach Tackett was talking about in the pregame. That's how you're going to beat this Cal team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's Ashland now on this second down situation here as Strader breaks huddle. And Houston at the top of the screen with Adkins at wide out. Jordan there as well. Or no, Jordan going. A little Notice confusion on. there in the backfield yeah. looked like, Tyler. Yeah, as it's going to be a pass. And Strader looks to run, and he's going to power through. Wow. Well, looked like an ugly scenario <laughs> turned into a yeah, three-yard game. He carried four Centurions with him, hit in the behind the line of scrimmage, still able to gain a good four yards on that rumble, Tyler. <laughs> he's a he's a load to tackle, and, and that's it's hard to – I mean, it's hard. That's what's got Ashland to this point is Strader's ability to carry the ball. So a third down, Ashland needs to get past the 47 of Cal to get the first down as it's Jennings and Strader in the backfield along with Austin Nichols, and it's going to be Strader carrying it. He spins. Ah, that's I close. Short. I don't think he got it. It's about a half a yard short, Tyler. I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Tackett goes for it here. Definitely. Um yeah, in this situation, past the 50, and that'll be a – so it'll be a fourth and one now for Ashland. They need to get to the Cal 47. Yeah, not a great spot as we happen to have a perfect line on mm -hmm. how far Strader got. I think he was about another half yard forward that would have made this yeah, a, for a fourth and inches. Now it's a good yard. Yeah, as that's – they, they did a really good job plugging all the gaps on that play too as – Says Strader and Jennings now again on this fourth down. It's handed off to Jennings around the right side, and he's going to get stopped yeah. in the backfield. Yeah, I don't know about that, Tyler. I, I, I think Ashland's had a lot of success running between the tackles, which I didn't expect, but yeah. Cal so quick in their pursuit around the corners. Yeah, you definitely want to keep it between, I yeah. think, in that situation between the tackles. as Easy for us to say. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, they just have you – because it's hard to – you want to try to be in positions, I think, where you can negate that a yeah. lot of that speed that they have, that they do so good at flying to the outside as they're going to come out now and they'll have the ball in Ashland territory on the 49-yard line. They're coming out. I see Connor Hodge out there at wide out. Uh, Ruffin's out there, and that's going to be the first run for Cole Hodge up the middle, and he's going to get five yeah. yards. Yeah, he, used, he really sells that quarterback draw really well, gets those defensive backs to commit to the pass and then just tucks it and goes. He did that a lot against Lexington Christian Academy for big gains. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was on that first first run that game was uh, – they well, they turned it over, um, Lexington Christian did, and he had that 16-yard yeah. touchdown run. And he does a good job power running as well as – as it's going to be second and five now for Cal. As trying to do the long count to draw Ashland off sides. And he's going to hand it off to Copenhaver. Big hole for him up the middle and just tripped up by Cam Davis. Score then, from Wirtland, Raceland at the end of the first up over Holy Cross 7-6. Wow, so it sounds like a great game yeah. as 50 yards on five carries now for Copenhaver. 
and he has two first downs for Cal. Boy, Ashland really needs to bow their back here, Tyler, and get a stop. Yeah, they do, they do need to. It's a really it's a tough scenario to be in as it's going to be the end of the first. Cal leading 14 to nothing at this point. And we're going to take a break and come back. You're watching the 3A, uh, the 3A football semifinals sponsored by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. At Pathways, we're transforming not just ourselves, but the way you'll see healthcare. Introducing our all new certified behavioral health clinic, an evolutionary shift in our approach with a focus on you as a whole. Our team will coordinate care, dialed in on both your physical and mental well-being. It's a holistic approach to how our consumers will seek and receive health care. We are so proud to be able to provide these new services right here in our local communities. Learn how health care is changing for you at anewpathway.org. and gets out of bounds. So Hodge now has completed six passes in a row. Cam Davis gets back there and forces him out of bounds. So 86 yards now for Hodge, six of seven with two touchdowns. That's actually the first reception for Cotton now as they're coming back out on this second and four situation. What's roughing here in the slot, Tyler? And yeah, Hodge and turn out quick out. Way. That's McKinley with the catch, and the big guy's going to get six yards and a first down. All right, Tyler. Cal in the red zone. Ashland, as I mentioned before the break, really needs to bow up here. Yeah, it's really where, especially at this point, tight, really time to buckle down here as it's as it's uh, as Hodge now seven of eight. Of course, Hodge uh, um, as a a quick timeout taken by Ashland. We'll keep it here. But Todd has, um, Hodge has, of course, several colleges looking at him, yeah. um, several D1 colleges for good reason, as he's shown yeah. his ability tonight. He has great eight. technique in his footwork, mm -hmm. stepping back, plants, and lets it go. A high release, quick release. Uh, yeah, he looks, he throws like a Division One quarterback. Yeah, he, he definitely has put on an impressive performance so far. And, um, a big thank you all to people watching here on on My Town TV. It's um, um, a big thank you to Clark's Pump and Shop for sponsoring this game. And first off, also a couple of shout outs that that we want to give here. Um, for first off, we want to give a, we want to give a big shout out to uh, let's see, looking for my my note here to. Give a shout out to, my, Ray, to Raymond Stevens. Big shout out to him. <laughs> Scott Miller had mentioned him. And also want to give a shout out to Mike and Patty Lalone to Michigan watching as it's going to be first and 10 for Cal. Again in Ashland territory. Hodge up the middle. He's got plenty of he's room gone. and he's going to go all the way for touchdown number nine on the season. So an 18 yard run by. Hodge, and it's now a 20 to nothing lead for Cal right now. I have them at, let's see, 142. I have yeah. them 92 through the air and 81 yeah. on the ground so far. Yeah, Hodge just sells that, that draw so well, drops back and really gets those defenders to commit. That's why all the defensive backs had ran out, cleared out, and gave him a lane to just jog into the end zone, Tyler. Yeah, huge lane for him, and now, now the extra points up and straight down the middle, and it's 21 nothing Cal over Ashland. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV.
Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. And the ball's kicked back to Jennings as he gets it. He gets up to the 10 and to the 20. Jennings to the 30. Jennings powers his way up to the 35, carrying defenders to the 40. You can tell that kid came to play, Jennings. Yeah. Wow. Finally brought down by Connor Franklin, number 13, uh, who's the you know, great middle linebacker in his own right. Unfortunately, for his sake, he plays – uh, right behind Gavin Copenhaver, mm -hmm. one of the best middle linebackers in the state, but he'll get his chance next year, the junior mm -hmm. Connor Franklin. Yes, that's now going to be first and ten for the Tomcats here as Strader drops back, a little bit of pressure coming, ball's thrown. Well, that's got to be a flag. And that's flag there we coming go. down. Yeah. yeah, that was. Jordan was completely wrapped up by the time Strader delivered the pass, Tyler. Yeah, that is a yeah, definite interference, and that is the first penalty either way really is. Of course, penalties has been one thing yeah. that has hurt Cal some against Elizabethtown. They had early on, they had a couple roughing the passers. They had a face mask out of bounds that, um, that helped Elizabethtown stay in it early as it's going to be first to 10. Now for the Tomcats here at the 46-yard line of Cal. As Strader has it, counter play to Jennings. He's, oh, almost had a little yeah. hole up the middle. I thought he was going to score through there for a second. But they do a good job getting to him and wrapping him up. And, and Tyler with 10 minutes left before half. Mm -hmm. Raceland now has bounced out to a 14-6 lead over Louisville mm -hmm. Holy Cross. And just before half, Ironton trails Valley 21-14. Wow, two great games going on there as it's going to be second and eight now for the Tomcats here. That's Houston and Jordan up top at wide out. Adkins at the bottom of your screen. And it snaps straighter with it, and he's going to run it. The big guy goes, and he gets the first down. Yeah, but finally brought down by number 22. McCade Batcher. That's and two that'll tackles be, in a row. No, for that'll him, be. They're not giving him the first down on that. Wow. That's an awful spot for Ashland. Strader well beyond that first down marker when he was brought down. And now Ashland with the decision here, third and short. Short here as they will go to try to get this in a flag down. Looks like that's going to be a sideline warning on Cal. So far, each team has picked up a, or well, let's assume that's going to be, we'll see what the, yeah, that's yeah, going to be a sideline warning. So each team has had a sideline warning. Um, Cal with a pass interference, but so other than that, so far, clean. Um, Cal, the only team that has picked up a mm -hmm. penalty resulting in yards lost is Ashland now coming out on this third and one. Third and a, about a foot, Tyler, what do you yeah. do? I think you let your... Your 6'4", 240-pound quarterback, mm -hmm. run it right up the yeah. gut. I think definitely keep it between the tackles here as Austin Nichols comes out in the backfield with Jennings and Strader now. And it's going to be handed off to Jennings. Left side, Jennings cuts back and gets nice. close to the 30. Good call off tackle. Jennings now with, with three first downs. Ashland with the – 
four first downs so far, three on the ground, one through the air. So now first and 10 for the Tomcats here as they're on the 32-yard line of Cal. Here as we're in the second quarter, that's going to be Adkins and Jordan at the bottom of your screen at wide out, Houston up top, or Tay Thomas in the backfield now as Strader's going to spin and get four or five. Nice run by the big fella. You know, he's deceptively athletic, pretty quick on his yeah. feet. Little choppy steps, is able to make quick changes in traffic. You know, for 6'4", I think he's listed at 225. I think he's maybe a few He might be a, little a bit. few pounds heavier. Yeah. But he he is a heck he of an athlete. Big dude. And also a very yeah, very good athlete. As Strider now drops back, quick throw Oof. and it's incomplete. And he Strader, had Atkins yeah. just just miscommunication there. I think mm -hmm. Atkins Ashland and maybe ran, off, ran that off an extra step. Yeah, as, as he's now th three for six for 13 yards so far, a first down. As Tyler Ashland in four down yeah. territory mm -hmm. here. Yeah, they'll definitely, um, I think they'll definitely, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe back to back run plays here. Let's see, we'll see what the Tomcats do as they're coming out with Jennings and Strader. In the backfield at wide out is Adkins and Houston. Nichols is also in the slot back position. Nice call. And Jennings breaks through the tackle, gets the first down, and then a few. Great job by that Tomcat offensive line to create the big hole for Jennings to get through. Untouched for the first five yards, and then just gutsy hard yards mm -hmm. after that. That's Jennings' 10th carry now. He has 42 yards and four first downs for the Tomcats here in this second quarter as, as they're coming back out in shotgun. Here as they're inside the 20 in the red zone now as it's snapped, handed off to Jennings again, and he's going to power forward for five more. Yeah, Ashland having more success on the run here on this series than most teams have had all season against this Cal team. Yes, Cal does an outstanding job against the run. Um, their linebackers and tackles do a good job shutting down. Just like earlier, they did a good job penetrating the gaps and not allowing any real substantial gains as it's going to be second and five here for the Tomcats as they're deep into Cal territory now. And it's handed off to Tay Thomas up the middle. Thomas, and I don't think he got it, but he got it not before getting a few yards. He probably got three, maybe four. About a yard and a half short, Tyler, I think. Looks yes. like it. That's Tay Thomas's first carry. That'll be a gain of three yards. Thomas, who ran for 113 yards against Elizabethtown earlier this season in a 27-25 win for the Tomcats. So Ashland with it now and short yardage situation here, third and two here as we're approaching the seven minute mark in the second quarter. Nichols in at the slot back position now. And it's handed off to Thomas up the middle again. That's going to be close. I don't uh, think he got it, Tyler. I think he's. Yeah, looks like he felt. Looks like he hit the ground like about. It's fourth down. They did not give it to him, but it is close. Fourth and about a yard and a half. Braxton so Jennings back in for Ashland. We'll see if Ashland goes to their wing T formation. Maroon, it's called, as they like to do sometimes in this situation. That's exactly what they're going to do on this fourth down, as that's Jennings, uh, Nichols in the backfield, and looks like Coach Cantwell wanted a timeout, Tyler. So timeout by Cantwell. We'll take a timeout and be right back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel.
We're back, fourth down and one yard to go for the Tomcats here. As Strader goes under center, and it's going to be handed off to Jennings, and he's going to go up the middle, and it looks like we'll see where the spot is. I think they're going to, he got the spot. And they might measure. That's not a friendly spot, but it sure to me looked like he got, he got it. They're not even going to measure that? I mean, you've got, you have to measure that in a game like this. Yeah, that's odd call. I'm not, I'm looking to see Chad. I don't see Chad heavily protesting it, so maybe it could be the angle we're at. But a big, big blow for the Tomcats here as, as Cal will come back and take over here. Ashland, a big drive down the field which they needed and instead it will result in Cal coming back and taking over here on at their own seven yard line as it's motion on the offensive line yeah as Hodge thrown over the middle and he has McKinley and McKinley's got almost breaks free the big guy gets to the 30 and another first down for for Cal. That's all we talked about in the pregame is McKinley able to find a little space on that second level. That's where he's been able to hurt teams in that tight end position this year. And Bardstown leading Mason with a little bit to go in the second quarter, 14 6. And mm -hmm. of course, the winner of this game will go on to play the winner of Bardstown and Mason. Wow. Interesting update. Battle of two great, great teams, two great quarterbacks in Mason and Bardstown. Those two schools going at it as it's a fresh set of downs now as Copenhaver takes it. He gets tripped up, stays on his feet, stiff arms the defender. Copenhaver to the 40, to the 30, and he is going to go all the way to the end zone, and that is going to be Copenhaver's 25th offensive touchdown of the season. 17 on the ground, eight receiving, and Cal now up what, what could have been a – Potential Ashland touchdown turned into another yeah. Cal touchdown after Ashland turned it over on downs and two plays later, Cal takes it and scores. And looks like you can see just Ashland sales have deflated right yeah. now. Tough run there by Copenhaver as we knew he was capable of doing it. Those two stiff arms that freed him up, really his last stiff arm sent the defender into the oncoming defenders, basically mm -hmm. setting a, a pick on uh, Jennings, who was trying to run him down. And now Cal way out in front here, 28 nothing with 5.35 to play in the second. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Free fuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. Yeah, I to the 20, and he powers up to the 22, 23 yard line. You know, Ashland with a long way to go now, down 28 nothing, And you had the feeling there on that last drive that stalled yeah. around the 10-yard line or just inside that if Ashland could have punched it in, maybe they would have had a shot here to get back within, you know, decent range. They would have been down two touchdowns, get a stop, maybe another score, get the ball back to start the second half. Now you've got a ball game. Now you find yourself in a four-touchdown hole. and. Yeah, you really got to dig down now and see what you're made of, Tyler. Yeah, that was a huge change of momentum for 
this game as like you said, Ashland had a chance to get back in it and now instead they find themselves down further as Strader dropping back. Oh, he and he's man. got Houston, it's caught. Houston to the 50, to the 40, to the 30 and he gets down to the 15 yard line of Cal. Beautiful ball by wow. Strader for, by the sophomore just threw a bullet where Houston did not have to break stride and Houston, which doesn't happen very often, ran down from behind, but now Ashland you know, knocking on the door here. That's true. Got to keep fighting as that is a gain of, let's see, that is a gain. I'm trying to do my math. That game. is a it's 50. A yeah. <laughs> 58 yard gain as it's handed off to Jennings up the middle, and he's going to plow through for four more. Jennings, that's carry number 13 for him. I love how Jennings has fought, scratched, clawed, yeah. anything he can to try to get yardage. And he's really showing to be an impressive back as that'll be second and five for Ashland at the Cal 13. Although the last drive they got to the Cal seven and could not convert as, as it's going to be and five faked, and Strader will carry it. He'll get the first uh, close. Well, with the spots Ashland's gotten so far tonight, I'm going to say he's short. Yeah, they're motioning. Okay, they're, so it chains motion for Ashland right now. Ashland with 77 yards on the ground and 71 through the air. So now a fresh set of downs is going to be first and goal from the eight for the Tomcats as Strader and Jennings. It's handed off to Jennings and he Get spins, in gets in. Braxton Jennings, touchdown number 19 on the season for the sophomore running back. And Ashland gets on the board for the first time tonight. And that was set up in part by mm. a 58 yard pass from LeBriant Strader to Brandon Houston here. Impressive offensive possession for Ashland. And just you play the game of what ifs. If you get that first down last drive. And yeah, that was uh big cost 60, 60 yards for Jennings now on the ground. And Brian Church in to attempt the extra point. Houston to hold, it's up, and Church puts it through and Makes the PAT, so it's 28-7, Cal leading Ashland. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. Down plunge from Braxton Jennings and Cotton back to receive for Cal. Although Ashley typically has gone with short squib kicks and it's recovered by Cal. Looks like that was Gavin McKinley. Sorry, Gunner McKinley. Uh, Big McKinley, you had a 23-yard reception on that last drive. But I think for Ashland to find a way to get back yeah. in this, they're going to have to find a way. Uh, Hodge is an amazing quarterback. but They have to get a any, stop, Tyler. Yeah, they have to find a way to get some – I think to generate some pressure yeah. in the backfield, but of course Copenhaver, I didn't I mean Copenhaver's an, a very good runner, but I did not expect yeah. him to break loose in this fashion. 120 yards on six carries for Copenhaver so far. Play action and it's thrown and caught by Cotton, and he's gonna get drugged down by a few Tomcats. That'll be a gain of 
I'll say it's, like it's about close. nine and a half, Tyler. Just a, just about a half a yard short. Ashland needs you get a stop here, Tyler. Mm -hmm. I know you're down three touchdowns. Forget about that. Get a stop yeah. here. You go into half. Maybe you get another opportunity, but you go mm -hmm. into half off of a touchdown and a stop, and you mm -hmm. get the ball back in the second half. Maybe you can start to build something, but this defense has to show something here. Yeah, they have to show some signs as as that's going as Hodge's first pass was an incompletion. He's completed nine in a row since Copenhaver right side, a first down, and that'll be a gain of six. So Copenhaver up to 126 on the ground, a two first downs and or three first downs and a touchdown for him, a 70-yard run that resulted in that. So first and 10 for Cal from their own 49-yard line. Do Here's, they load it up yeah. here, Tyler? Hmm? Do they load it up here? Yeah, they. Yeah, it's going to be under three minutes to go here in the first half, and that's going to be Hodge left side. Huge amount of room for him, and Hodge has got to go down to the 20 to the 15. So Hodge, a 34-yard gain. So it's such a tough player, Tyler. Yeah, Hodge is a very heady player. Makes good reads and, I mean, doesn't panic. And that's 57 yards on the ground for him on three carries to go along with 124 passing as they are once again inside the 20-yard line of Ashland here with 2.40 to go in the first half. Or it looks like actually clock's going to be stopped. I guess he got brought out of bounds as Hodge goes back under center now. And he's going to fake the pitch to Copenhaver. That's the screen they like to throw. Copenhaver catches it, and he gets it to the end zone for his ninth receiving touchdown of the season. Copenhaver, who has that on only 15 receptions, yeah. And it's now a 34-7 Cal lead. Cal with five possessions, five touchdowns in the first yeah. half. So now Cal will go once again to tip the extra point. And, yeah, Cal's just getting down. And, I mean, five plays or less. To, there's big play after big play. And right now I have them at 143 through the air. And – one, let's see, oh, if I flags down, let's see. We got 143 through the air and one, three, 191 on the ground right now. So now that's going to be offsides, and they're going to go for two here, I think, now. I would, too, if I were Cal. Honestly, because one more score, yep. if they, I mean, say they get the two and um, and then all it'll take is one more score to make it a running clock game. So now Cal going for two on the, after Ashland was off sides on that. I formation, and it's given to Copenhaver up the middle. Big surprise, he's yeah. barely touched, and that'll be a two-point conversion for Cal. So now they lead 36 to seven. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Cal gets ready to kick off. They scored on a 16-yard pass from Hodge to Copenhaver. Haver, as he got his ninth 
receiving touchdown of the year. And it's kicked back and caught by Jennings. Jennings to the 10, looking for a seam, and he's going to find it on the, the left side. Jennings cuts back. He gets to the 30. Jennings tripped up it's, before he got to the 35, but looks like we'll have either holding or a block in the back. It was a block in on the back, play. Tyler. Uh, Landon Eden just got to the defender just a half a step too late, ended up blocking him in the back, so that was coming all the way back. And Tyler, how much of this is Cal just being a superior team? Um, Cal's very fast around the outside. Um, they do a really good job getting there. I think they do a good job setting each other up. Um, I think the other end of it is, um, and you can tell they've Copenhaver's done a really good job on the run. The other end of it, I think Ashland has come in. They've looked a little. They look a little bit, and and you see this with young teams sometimes when it comes to the atmosphere. Um, you could tell that they haven't matched the intensity. Like you saw that last week at Bell County, they came yeah. in very intense, and I don't see that same level of intensity tonight um, from Ashland as the ball snaps straight or drops back. He's under a little bit of pressure. He's going to throw it to Houston. There Looks like it. he got the catch. He did. Kept his feet in bounds. And, and Strader now up to 81 yards on the on the, on through the air. So a first down for the Tomcats. That's Houston's third reception. And he has he has 68 yards so far receiving. Jennings with the other reception for Ashland Strader, or well, let's see. Yeah, because he also got, we have two screens for zero, so Strader now five of eight through the air, 63% on the game so far as Strader drops back, and he's looking, looking, and thrown, and ooh. Man, that, that one's incomplete. That was intended for Jordan. That was Connor Hodge on the coverage. Hodge, you also had the first touchdown yeah. reception of the game. Yeah, I'd like to see Jordan really plant and pull back on that one a little harder. I think that was a good-looking ball from Strader. Mm -hmm. Just, I don't think Jordan reacted quick enough to make the play. Yeah, that's second and ten now for the Tomcats here. As we're just over two minutes to go here. Counter play to Jennings. Oh. He's sniffed out in the backfield. Boy, they're just is, all over that. That was big number 52. That's Sam, Sam McCown, McCown, the senior. McCown, a good job getting back there. And this is a, an, a, a this is a Cal team that has had several tackles mm. for losses. And we're 2:02 to go in the half. We'll keep it here. But Ashland not doing a bad job overall generating offense in this one. I'm making my notation of the. Lasley Braxton yeah. Jennings now 15 carries and he has 15 or right. yes 58 yards. You, you mentioned Ashland, you know, yeah, they've they've had a few mistakes and miscues offensively, mm -hmm. but they've had some opportunities. The issue is you've got Cal that scored on five straight possessions. Their only five yeah. possessions of the half have been touchdowns, and you know, Tyler, I'm looking back at what could Ashland do differently defensively. I don't know how you scheme for this much talent. When you've got a guy like Hodge, a quarterback, who can beat you with his legs, who can throw over the top, he's a Division I quarterback. Mm -hmm. And you've got Copenhaver, who you know, is so versatile, out of the backfield, he can catch, he can run, runs hard, looking for the hit, wants to, invites contact. This is just a tough team. It's a tough matchup. And, and uh, you know, I, I don't know what the key is to unlock this Cal offense to shut them down in the second half, but Ashland running out of chances already as we approach the end of the first. Yeah, I think the first – I mean, you definitely want to try to get them to try to – because I don't think Ashland has matched Cal's intensity, but by that end, I think – I mean, no doubt you're going to have to give up something um, and take a chance on it. But as Strader drops back, he's looking, and he's going to go to Adkins and nearly intercepted. Yeah, that should have been Riley Wentz had his hands on it. That really should have been – a. An interception, Ashland dodges a bullet there, but on fourth down, yeah, maybe uh, maybe Cal was better off with the drop. Yeah, it may have been a better scenario for them. So I think if I'm Cal, I mean, I 
keep that aggressiveness going to try to try to get this yeah, one. Two minutes uh, left. They yeah, could get another minutes, touchdown so. here. Yeah, Cal, we went 93 yards on two plays earlier. As Ashland now, though, on the 81 through the air and 87 on the ground for the Tomcats, so not a bad performance on the offensive side for them as Houston goes back to punt. Nice kick. And it's kicked up, caught by Hodge. And Connor Hodge, he gets back there and drugged down by Sawyer Edens. So Cal will have it first and 10 from their own 49. A lot of barking back and forth between the Ashland and Cal players right now, and I think it's the frustration you're starting to see in these Tomcats is they just haven't been able to find a way to stop the Centurions' offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're definitely, and we'll see what they put together here on this first, first and ten. As they're going to go five wide, they do sometimes send a man in motion and run it, and this, Cal, though, I don't think that'll be the case here as Hodge takes a snap. Ashland with a three-man rush. Hodge across the middle, and I think that's intercepted, looks like, by Tate. Oh, no, it's going to be Tom. Or that was that was Tate Thomas on the interception, Tyler, wasn't Tate it? Tom, yeah, that was. Looks like one's trying to blow that it was incomplete. I don't know if it bobbled and hit the ground, but it looks like they're going to – Give the ball back to Ashland. So that is Hodges' first incompletion. He had 10 straight pass completions before that. So, yeah, and that Hodge was now. only his fourth interception of the year, Tyler. Yeah, he's human at least. That's <laughs> first and 10 for uh, Ashland now. 95 seconds. Ashland needs a touchdown here. So it's going to be a quick throw to Asher Atkins in the flat. He runs it, and he's going to try to get out of bounds. And looks like he did. So that'll be a we'll stop the clock Cotton anyway. gets it there to make the stop. So a gain of three for the Tomcats. Now they're saying he did not get out, Tyler, so the clock's still running. Okay, so Ashland now. Gets back into huddle, so we're at 118 right now, and the clock continuing to move here on this second and seven. So now Strader snaps it under pressure, thrown and caught by Jordan. Jordan gets to the 40, and Jordan gets out of bounds about the 44 yard line. Yeah, that was a great play by Strader. If he didn't catch it, he had McKinley just with a full head of steam heading towards him. And Strader again, stayed strong, stuck in that pocket, was able to deliver the ball to Jordan for the first down. Yes, that was a nice, nice play to get through the pressure as now that's going to be a first down, 94 yards passing for Strader. That's Jordan's second reception, first and 10. Look for Strader to go over the top here to Houston. Blitz. Strader thrown to Good Jordan again down. on the catch, and he's going to get out of bounds. Good check down by Strader. He saw the blitz coming. Check down to the short pass. As Strader passes 100 yards on the through the air, and that's Jordan's third reception here with 54 seconds to go in the half. It's like Gunnar McKinley out for Cal. He's... Holding that left shoulder of his, there may be a may have a stinger. Yeah, hopefully he's okay as that'll be a second down and three. As Strader looking, he's gonna run it. The big guy is, he's gonna get the first down. And so a momentary stoppage of the clock at and that's gonna be a gain of 30 yards on the ground for Strader. So Ashland pass midfield as the clock ticks at 39. Again, Ashland not having problems moving the ball. It's, again, stopping them or at least containing somewhat defensively as Strader now. He's in trouble. As that's going to be a quick throw and caught, I think, by Jared Brown. That is, that's going to be a three-yard reception. It's better off letting it hit the ground. I think Coach Tackett might have called a timeout there, and he did. So we'll keep it here, 21 seconds to go. But um, 
So second and seven now um, for the Tomcats here. So yeah, and it's really yeah, it's really three shots at the end zone at this point, Tyler. If you can get it in in 21 seconds. Yeah, it really is. Um, I mean, 21 to get 42 yards. That's yeah, you, you, you're gonna have to get this mm -hmm. in chunks. Yeah. I do. Th I wouldn't be surprised if they send Houston long that a straighter to Houston connection on that. That uh, long side of the wide side of the field has worked out in Ashland's favor several times this year, so you might see that. Yeah. But I would imagine what you're probably going to see most likely is Strader throwing some out patterns to try to get to try to cut this down about halfway, try to gain about 15, 20 yards at a time because you have time. Yeah, I agree. If you can stop the clock, you've got time. And Ashland with one time out left. Yeah, I, that's good. Yeah, I think that's what you definitely want to try. We'll see what the Tomcats go with here as as they trail 36 to seven here late in the first half. Strader drops back and has a little bit of time, and he's gonna he, he's gonna carry it, get close first to down. the first down. That'll we'll stop see the clock. That'll stop the clock. The spot is Strader took a hard hit, gets up slowly. It, so it was clock stopped momentarily at 11 seconds. And a, a timeout. We're going to take a timeout as well. We'll be right back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just gotta get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. And we're back. Ashland with 11 seconds to go after using their last time out. They're going to come out empty backfield here as Cal sends a, a corner on the blitz. It's thrown, caught by Adkins. He's going to get out of bounds. All right, now you're manageable with five seconds left. Inside the 25 or right at it, Tyler. If Ashland could take a touchdown into the locker room here, it would certainly lift their spirits for the second half considering they do get the mm -hmm. ball back to start the second half. Yeah, this is Ashland now. They have 25 yards to go to get there. Likely, barring a penalty, likely the last play for the Tomcats to close out the first half. And this time it's Coach Cantwell who's calling the timeout, Tyler. Yeah, yeah it's um, so so with um, we'll keep it here. And so Cantwell, I think he wanted to see how Ashland was going to line up. So and Tyler, if you're Coach Tackett, what do you what do you want to do in this situation? Obviously, you're you're going to the air, but who's your target? I think you want Houston is typically the the long target out of this. But that being said, they do have a play out of trips where they will send the receivers and try to cause a little bit of confusion yeah. and sneak Terrell Jordan out of there. They ran that um, against Russell earlier this year. Jordan actually got loose, but it was just slightly overthrown. Mm. I think something like that to throw um, some so you're kind You're saying of throwing throw. short of the end zone and letting the receiver get it with his feet, or you're saying throwing it into the end zone? Yeah, I think you. I think you've got to go. I don't um, know something on that. I think you're going to have Cal's defenders dropping way back here, yeah. guarding against the ends. I think if you could run someone to around the ten yard line on a, you know, maybe a, a, a yeah. slant, maybe a slant. Yeah, some way to try to confuse yeah. the secondary of Cal and try to get. Sure enough, like you said, they're playing ten yards off the ball here with. Five they're going to let anybody get behind them. Yeah. Here. And three men rushing for Cal. And 
Strader Strader's going to throw with a bullet, and it's incomplete. So the first half concludes. It's 36-7. to Cal leading Ashland. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student-athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program. With walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student-athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. You're on the move, you're mobile, and so is Community Trust Bank. Now, get that morning cup of joe without the hassle, without the wait. Community Trust Bank is dedicated to making your banking experience secure, fast, and easy. Don't wait. Go mobile with Community Trust Bank. We are back here on My Town TV. Cal leading Ashland 36 to seven at halftime. Cal opened the game, they tried to strike early and missed, missed that, but that would be the only incompletion for Hodge. He would, after a couple plays to open it up, a 25 yard game from Copenhaver and a, then a seven yarder. He would strike to his younger brother, Connor Hodge, who would, Score on a 31-yard touchdown reception to make it 7-0. Ashland would get the ball. They get a first down and be forced to punt. And right back again, Cal would get it, would strike big as Hodge would, Hodge would then hit Ruffin on an 18-yard touchdown pass to make it 14 to nothing. And Ashland would then get the ball. They get a drive past midfield, and it would be fourth and one for the Tomcats, but Cal would come through, the defense would come through and stop Ashland on an outside play. And, and then Cal would get the ball back, would once again score to go up 21-0. Ashland got the ball back, drove downfield, and got inside the 10 of Cal on a great drive. But after a controversial spot, it was turned over. Two plays later, Cal goes 93 yards, and it's 28-0. Then Ashland would finally strike on a 58-yard pass to, down the left side to Brandon Houston, set up a, an eight-yard touchdown run from Braxton Jennings, and then Ashland would be on the board, but not for long. Cal would come back, and Copenhaver would score again. This time, his last one, which was a 70-yard run to make it 28-7. This time, it was a 16-yard pass reception on that screen play they like to run. And Cal would, Ashland would be off sides on the two-point conversion, or on the PAT. Cal would score on the two and go up 36-7. And Ashland had got close. They there was th they went three and out, punted. Cal got it through an interception. Thus, Ashland's first time stopping them. And then Ashland would come close. They get to the 25 of Cal before half, but Cal would stop them in the end. And right now, that's where we're at. We're going to take a break and come back and talk some more of this game. You're watching, and some other games. You're watching My Town TV.
Better banking brings better opportunity. If you're looking for a loan, I encourage you to shop local. At Kentucky Farmers Bank, we make our decisions right here in our office. We give you the loans that you need and the personal service that you deserve. Kentucky Farmers Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug your hometown pharmacy, and so much more. And we're back with the KHSAA 3A semifinal game at Cal between Ashland and Cal. And right now it is Cal leading 36-7. And we, of course, we want to thank our good friends Rick and Brent Clark and the whole Clark family mm -hmm. for making tonight's broadcast possible. This game is brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. And as always, return, refresh, refuel. And Tyler, I have a feeling we'll probably hit at least one or two Clark's Puppet Shops on the way home tonight. What do you oh, think? Oh, totally. Um, yeah, totally. It's, um, you know, they, I, I think that, you know, they've been an excellent sponsor of the programs here across the state for sports and um, definitely very appreciative that they made this awesome. Also appreciative to the administration at Christian Academy of Louisville for making this possible. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like you said, I'm definitely looking forward to – I'm sure we'll see a couple Clark spots on the way home. And it's now um, – I think it's going to be a, a good good second half coming up. And, Chris, yeah. I know you probably have some scores. Yeah, speaking of a good second half, it's been a good second half for the Ironton Tigers so far in their game against Valley. It is Ironton 21, Valley 21, and that is because Jaquez Keys – Ran off a 72-yard touchdown to open the second half to get the Tigers level against Valley View. And down in Wortland, looks like Raceland is running away against Holy Cross. And that game is at the half, 37, I'm sorry, 27-6 Raceland. Also, in the Mason and Bardstown game, Bardstown up on Mason. 28-20 late in the second quarter. And, of course, Pikeville up ahead. So it looks like, Tyler, in that single A division, it's going to be a country music highway battle between Raceland and Pikeville taking place for the championship. It'll be interesting to see. That's been the, uh, the, that has been the anticipated all matchup all season. Of course, Hazard nearly put a big dent in that yeah. last week. But um, they both played good ball this year. And, um, Pikeville, who beat Raceland ha handily last year in the second round, I'm interested to see, I'm assuming that everything holds out, what would happen between those two schools. So I'm sure it'll be a big, big event to to get to get to go to. And, of course, Bardstown and Mason County, I, that's a game I'd, yeah. I wish I could be both at the same time because they're both, like, they're so similar in their styles. Um, that would be, gosh, talk about a fun Matchup, Terrell Henry, one of the best corners in the state for Mason. I think nine interceptions he has on the year. I'm also a very good basketball player. He is, too. Um, of course, Bardstown with a quarterback that's thrown it just over 100 times but completes 81% of his passes. So, um, definitely a, a, a big game going on on that end. So, Mason looking to make a run at it. And we'll take a time out here and come back. Um, Cal leading Ashland 36 to 7 at half and we'll be right back here on My Town TV. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. When you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people.
Hi, this is Clay from Pollux, and we want to remind you to shop local with us for all of your jewelry needs and jewelry repairs. And remember that Christmas is coming up on us real soon. Thank you all for your support of 148 years. Hey, Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. And we're back with the 3A state semifinals, KHSAA semifinals, brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. Chris Pullum here with Tyler Rowland, and we're about three minutes away from starting the second half. And Tyler, Ashland in a big hole down 36-7. If you're Coach Tackett right now and you have your team, I've noticed they are still back uh, huddled together uh, off the field, still meeting as a team before they come out to start this second half. What are you? What is your message coming out here for the final two quarters of football, possibly for the season for these Tomcats? First off, I mean, you definitely want to, I think, really pick up the aggressiveness, I think, in a lot of ways. I feel like especially on the defensive end, you know, the, I think the experience of Cal is really showing in this game right now. And, you know, they've come in. And then again, this has been a rough spot for them the past two years. Two years ago, they lost 39-20 to to Elizabethtown in the state semis. Last year, they lost to Paducah Tillman. Tillman, who would come five points away from winning the state title. I think they had an 8-7 and seven record, if I remember right. Tillman did. Um, this year, of course, they were met with a hard-fought battle from Tillman once again, and this is a point where they're saying, okay, we are going to come in and we're not going to be denied. Ashland, I feel like, has come in with a little bit of that, a little bit lesser of a mentality. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, Tyler, right now. What do you do differently defensively? Because Ashland's offense, yeah, they've only got put seven on the board, but they have started to build some momentum offensively. You haven't seen any of that on the defensive end mm -hmm. as Cal has just sort of had their way minus that one interception that got loose. Uh, there at the end of the half. You know, what do you do differently defensively against this Cal team? I think you have to take some chances. I'm surprised we haven't seen in a lot of scenarios. One thing Paducah Tillman I thought did really well was they were to able, they would blitz a corner, they would send somebody off the edge. Yeah. Ashland's been very content to rush three and four guys. And Hodge is a good quarterback as it is, but right. he's even better when he has all yeah. day to sit back and throw. And this is a line unless you take that kind of chance yeah. that that's going to happen. But if you send yeah. um, more guys now, of course, there's the risk in coverage. But I would much rather him uh, – much yeah. rather have that pressure – on him because, I mean, I do think with guys like yeah. Cam Davis in the secondary, I think Ashland can at least yeah. um, potentially make a play on that. It's a risk, but you're, it's one you have to a, take. It's a risk, but you're in the hole 29 points now. You've seen what he yeah. can do when you give him time to set up. Now, right. let's flush him out a little bit. Let's chase him. Let's make him make quick decisions and see if we can't turn him over a little bit. Ashland, of course, will start off with the ball in the second half. Right, and, and one other thing, because defensively, a little bit, the art of confusion is something that I think is something that to be – I'll give you an example. One of Chad Tackett's best game plans I think he ever put together defensively, even though Ashland lost this game um, against Johnson Central in 2015, they came out in a diamond formation. Now, I know this is a different type team, but they put Drew O'Brien in the very back sent him up to the front on a blitz, and he got in, forced to fumble the first play because Johnson Central had not seen Ashland line up like that. And I think some things that Ashland can throw at this team 
Um, you know, and I mean, passing the ball, I would. I'm, what's surprised me is that Cal has been able to gash Ashland up the yeah. middle. I yeah. mean, Copenhaver is getting four or five yeah. yards before somebody gets a finger on him. And I knew he'd have – I mean, he averages yeah. eight yards a carry. He's a good running back. But I didn't expect that they would be able to – I thought if Ashland had a little bit of success defensively, it would be – somewhat against stopping the run, but Copenhaver's run for 126 yards on seven carries, three first down and a 70-yard touchdown, and Hodge has 57 yards yeah. on three attempts. It's really been that right side of the offense for uh, or the offensive line for Cal, and it's been that, that big uh, sophomore uh, Ben Stotes who sort of anchored that side, and then they'll put McKinley on that side, have him mash down and really seal everything on the on the defensive line and create that space for Copenhaver to to run around the end or around the, the, the tackle. That's where Copenhaven has been his most effective on the run. But again, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Second half defensively for Ashland. First, let's get down here and get a score. Yeah, right. I think you want to definitely try to S second. We we've got we we have to get them in a three and out scenario and by and the only way I'm going to see that happen right now and maybe it doesn't maybe you get burned right yeah but you're already down 29 so let's start to mix it up a little bit defensively let's start to send some guys from different angles and and like you said a few, a few tricks up Chad Taggart's sleeve that he's shown in the past I'd like to see him here in the second half yeah Chad one of the one of the architects behind that defense is two years ago for Ashland that held um, I mean that was outstanding I mean Raceland Scored 15 points on Ashland that year, the 11-0 Tomcats, and that was the most anybody scored on that team. And um, yeah. and I think that um, this year, you look at the effort last week at Log Mountain against Bell County, they held Daniel Thomas. Now, I know later in the game, Thomas did um, start limping around a little bit. It looked like he tweaked a hamstring maybe, but Thomas, 40 yards on 15 carries the number one rusher in 3A. They had a very impressive performance, and I'm sure Chad might, like you said, have something in terms of tricks up his sleeve. But also, um, Cal has really done an outstanding job this year. They've had, of course, Hodge, who's picked up touchdown number 44 through the air tonight, and, uh, of course, picked up his 50th touchdown um, when you combine passing and rushing on the season. And once again, I want to thank our friends Rick and Brent Clark at Clark's mm -hmm. Pump and Shop for allowing us to bring you this broadcast tonight. Ashland fans who are tuned in three hours away on I-64, uh, make sure you stop into your local Clark's Pump and Shop to return, refresh, and refuel as we will on the way home tonight, Tyler. Yes, as now very well said, as thank you to Clark's Pump and Shop as now, now Cal to kick off. In here, opening the second half, that'll be Jennings back to return for the Tomcats. Raceland now up 35-6 in the third quarter against Holy Cross. So they wow. punch their so, card. Pikeville's punched mm -hmm. their card. The 1A is set. And that'll be a great matchup as Barrickman back to kick off. Barrickman, 84 of 88 on PATs this year. That's a little bit of a short kick. And... That one is recovered by shorter from what he's kicked this year, and that's what you want if you're Cal starting yeah. out the second half. Yeah, I was expecting it to go back to about the one or two yeah. and Jennings to return it, but that was a good job. A, a, a deep kick, and that's a, that's the thing, and you want a kicker that can place it. He could get the touch back, but yeah. he can also place it back there perfectly as Ashland's been inside, the t inside their own 20 now twice on kick returns. So... So with 11.55 to go here in the second half, Ashland will start out with it. Ashland, who's had 114 yards through the air and 92 on the ground so far. They've been stopped twice on fourth and one, once inside the Cal 10. Here as Strader's dropping back to throw. As, oh. oh, the A-gaps blitz. I think they're, they're going to say he was down. That was number 52, That was Big McCown, McCown that got back there on the hit. Strader looks like he's hurt, Tyler. He did go down very awkwardly, sort of bent backwards, had his knee caught underneath him, and he is favoring that right knee. As Nichols sure coming Strader's, in there. Is he going to be able to stay in? 
Schrader is staying in right now. No, he's going to go down. Injured player on the field. So, so we'll take a break as the uh, Ashland medical staff attends to LeBriant Strader. You're watching the Clark's Pump and Shop 3A semifinals, My Town TV. We will be right back. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. So Hugh, Brandon Houston in at quarterback now. He hands it off to Jennings right side. And Jennings, that's awful close. Lucky that wasn't called a safety as that'll be uh, – so Jennings now his 16th carry, a big, big blow for the Tomcats. A straighter goes out. He's being tended to on the sideline as McCown got back there, just blitzed hard on the A-gap. And – Strader went down a little bit awkwardly on that sack. So third and eight, 18 now for Ashland. They need to get past the cow or their own 19-yard line to get the first down as Houston now coming in at quarterback with Jennings and Nichols in the backfield. And that's going to be a flag down. The second penalty this game, that's going to go against Cal. Cal, who also has a pass interference call. That's 20 yards and penalties for them. I don't think Ashland has one well, yet a, other at least than a, a sideline warning. At least a little breathing room here for the yeah. Tomcats. Is, you, know, you know Houston's not most likely not going to throw out of this. Cal knows that they're just pinning their ears back and coming after him. Yeah, definitely Ashland mixing up the snap count a little bit, looks like, as, as Houston now coming back in. Strader's trying to talk his way back onto the field. Right now he's – doesn't look like yeah. he's going to check in on this series anyway. So now Houston drops back. He's looking. He has a man. Atkins nice is ball. open. And, oh, incomplete. Wow. He put it out there, yeah. but – Good looking ball. Yeah. And Houston and a lot – and people may not know this, some of them who – have, um, but in JV and freshman, he's played a lot of quarterback. So um, he does have the ability to come back there and be a serviceable backup for Strader now as Houston will stay in and Ashland will punt from their own five-yard line. So just an unfortunate start to the second half for the Tomcats who are trying to get – trying to get some momentum and things going their way. And Cal sending, trying to block. Houston runs out of there and punts it. And that's going to be Connor Hodge that returns. Hodge with it now, looking for, looking for a seam. And he's going to get pushed out of bounds. It's an interesting play. I think if Houston would have just tucked it and gone, he had space with his speed to at least pick up the first down. But I understand why mm -hmm. you don't take that chance. You know, buried so deep in your own side of the field. So now Cal has it on the 40-yard line of Ashland with 9.29 to go here in the third. That's going to be Hodge and Copenhaver in the backfield. Um, Cotton's isolated at the bottom of your screen at wide out. It's handed off to Copenhaver mm. right up the middle, but he finds an open seam on the left side, and he's going to get drugged down by Davis, but not before he gains yeah. 30 yards. And that is Co Copenha Copenhaver has go, – go back to my stat sheet here. A big congratulations to him, too, as he has passed 1,000 yards on the season rushing now with 156 yards on eight 
carries so far. Four first down and a 70-yard run for a touchdown as it's now first and 10 for Cal from the Ashland 11 and Hodge and Copenhaver in the backfield and Hodge drops back and it's going to be a fade drought and incomplete. So that was intended for Ruffin who had a touchdown catch earlier. Ruffin, Hodge, and Copenhaver, all of who have mm -hmm. a touchdown reception in this game. I mentioned earlier, Connor Hodge, the younger brother of Cole Hodge. Watch so, out for the keeper here for Cole Hodge. That's a good call. They like to do this around, especially when they get into the red zone. As the ball snapped, Hodge, it's going to be a handoff, and Ashland sniffed it out. Yeah, so did that well. Tay yeah. Thomas yeah. with the tackle. So a rare time for Cal that they have had to had to convert a third and long situation. Tyler uh, from Cincinnati, Ironton now leads Valley 28-21, a minute 40 to go in the third quarter. Wow, looks like that's been a great back and forth battle. Ironton looking to contend for the state championship and try to make it to that game for the third three out of four years. As now it's third and ten, ten for, and they're going to do the quarterback draw again. Hodge gets about five. Hodge up to 62 yards rushing. Of course, I think uh, we'll, we'll see interesting situation for Cal if they try to go and put this one away or they try to go for the field goal in this situation. They, their kicker has hit. Four field goals this year, so they they definitely well they definitely have a serviceable kicker. But yeah. I think that they're going, and I would too if I were them to try to put this one away here, as it's fourth and six from the Ashland seven. Here with seven thirty to go in the third third quarter, Hodge takes it. He's going to roll out left, and he throws it to the end zone. And I think he barely squeaked that one in. He did, and. And that one is caught by Ruffin, who's returned from injury to get his second touchdown reception. 48 yards receiving for him, and 147 through the air now for Hodge. So now it's a 42-7 lead for Cal, and they will come out here to attempt the extra point as Connor Hodge will hold. And Barrickman will, will attempt his 85th extra point this, or go to make his 85th extra point this season. And it's up and straight through. So the remainder of this game will now be played with the running clock as Cal takes the 36 point lead required. We're going to come back and watch the, for the rest of this game, you're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. It is important to know where your food comes from. We source the best meats from the best animals. We are passionate about the animals and the process by offering custom and USDA processing services. At AW Meat House, we are a cut above the rest. That's good. And Barrickman's kick goes into the end zone, although Braxton Jennings caught it. The rule is that if it's caught in the end zone, that it is an automatic, it is 
automatically considered a touchback. So Ashland will start with the ball on the 20. We'll see who comes out. Strader's going to run back out for the Tomcats. What a tough young man he is. A lot that he has to be proud of this year. Strader, who, I mean, had probably the best sophomore season uh, for a quarterback ever at Ashland, and that's saying a lot. You look at greats, I mean, several Tomcat greats that have come through that position. But Strader's had an unbelievable year as he gets ready to throw, and it's thrown in incomplete. incomplete. It Strader passes. only a sophomore, too, mm -hmm. Tyler. I mean, yeah, plenty yeah. of time to, to grow and develop into. You figure what he'll be as a senior will be a, a different player than what you see now, and what mm -hmm. you see now is pretty darn good. Yeah, Strader, who's thrown, wow, I mean, 60% on the year. Um, just incredible performances against Belfry, against Bell County at the right time. And, yeah, I mean, this is a very young Ashland team that's on the field, so there will be mm -hmm. definitely a lot to be excited about as Jennings is in the backfield with Strader now as that's going to be handed off to Jennings up the middle, and he's going to get a couple before McCown gets there. McCown, I think, a very a very steady player on that yeah. defense. He did a good – I mean, he – fortunately, of course, unintentional. He got uh, – tackled Strayer and we went down awkward. But he does a really good job hitting those gaps and getting out there to – as that's uh, the 17th carry now for Braxton Jennings, and it's going to be third and seven for the Tomcats. They need to get to the 30, their own 30, to get the first down here as we're approaching the five-minute mark in the third quarter. It's a running clock at this point as looks like they're going to – no, they're not going to. I thought they were going to blitz the A-gaps again. Caught by Houston. He's going to get the first down and get tackled. Connor Hodge with a good hit. And Strader having to pick himself up off the AstroTurf again as he took another hard hit. First down. He's really starting favoring that left knee. He's gonna, he's gonna feel that one in the morning, Tyler. Yeah, that's a tough, tough play. And what a tough player coming in after that. 79 yards receiving now for Brandon Houston on four receptions. A straighter fakes the screen. He's gonna try to throw it, and again, he says, I mean, a normal quarterback would have just gone down, and Strader's gone. Strader gets tackled by a whole host of of Cal plus Centurions, but I mean a normal yeah. player. That's a <laughs> yeah. He's hit, he's hit a yard and a half in the backfield, and dragging five players with him is able to gain two on that play. Yeah, that's a heck of a God. That's incredible, and that was a good read by the defense. Ashland rarely runs that play. The first time I ever saw them run that was against Woodford County. 2010, they ran it against Russell to get a touchdown, a key touchdown later in the game as it's going to be second and eight for the Tomcats now. Four-man rush coming, and he's going to go deep step. to Houston and that. incomplete. Just a little underthrown. Hodge again making the play, so third and eight now. Ashland needs to get past the 44 to get the first down. That was decent coverage by Hodge. and Again, the ball overthrown. He had about a half a step. Mm -hmm. That is, Houston had about a half a step on Connor Hodge, but yeah, and just couldn't adjust yeah. back to make the play. Connor Hodge, seven re touchdown receptions on the year for him. Really... Yeah, really good athlete for for Cal now as it's going to be third and eight for the Tomcats. And this time blitz. they heavy blitz coming and passes incomplete. Copenhaver, of course, gets back there to make the play. And that's going to be fourth down now for the Tomcats. So they will come out in punt formation. And that was a good job, and that's yeah. exactly what you want to accomplish when you send that amount of pressure. I mean, of course, you're giving up a little bit of coverage. Jennings might have had an opening had he, you know, been able to get. But, again, the goal was to avoid him having the, th the time to think, and it ended up being a, a short throw. As now Houston to punt for the Tomcats. 
And Strader has 125 through the air today, and it's going to be downfield, and, and Hodge will have it, and he gets – Eden's getting back there again yeah, making the play. wrap up, yeah. That's something Ashland has struggled with tonight, is wrapping up the ball good carrier. Good sportsmanship by Edens yeah. as well on that. Help him up. But, yeah, that's uh, that, that's, re that's really been a problem. And let's see what the flag is. But Ashland doing – and part of the problem they've had tonight is when, when they run the ball, they're getting a whole five yards before getting touched, and they get that head of – Face mask okay, may have caught him by the face mask. Um, and if so, that would be Ashland's actually their first penalty on the game tonight. So that's going to be first and ten for Cal, but not before it's going to get – the ball will get moved to about 15 yards. It's like Colin Daniels is in the game now for – Daniels has had a couple touchdown passes this year. I think he's 18 to 31 on the season. So now single back formation here for Cal as they come out with a new, or they're starting to sub out here and Isaiah Ingram gets there to make the tackle. And that is Jeff Vizana that carries the ball. So Vizana, his first carry of the night, and he'll get a couple yards for Cal. So I'm sure Cal now looking to looking just to try to play clock control and get out here and get to Net Lexington next week as it's a the clock continuing to run now as we're under a minute in the third quarter. So single Cal again coming out and single back. On this second and eight. And hand it off again. They're going to go to Vizana up the middle. Ingram's there to get him. And that'll be a gain of four. So Tyler, this season for the Tomcats, started off rocky. They put it together. You know, obviously you would want a better result mm -hmm. in this state. Let's remember, this is the state semifinal game, Tyler. This Ashland team showed a lot of heart all season. This this game, they just happened to run up against an offensive buzzsaw in Cal. And and uh, a lot of positives you can take away as, uh, as Coach Tackett looks at next season because he's got mm -hmm. a lot of these kids coming back. Yeah, a lot to be excited about. And We'll come back and talk about that here. A big thank you to Clark's Pump and Shop, our sponsor. We're going to go to break. You're watching My Town TV. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you, and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. And we're trying to help you make the right call. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. We strive to use our knowledge, talents, and resources to improve the quality of life in our communities. This year, People's Bank is celebrating our 120th anniversary by delivering 120 acts of kindness. These acts of kindness bring us just as much joy as to those that receive them. People's Bank, working together, building success. And we'll see where the spot is. That's going to be I think it was just a little bit short. Bryce Tyler. Wilson on the catch. Looks like they're going to give him a first down. They are. Wow. I, I, he looked short to me, but, you know. So, Tyler, we were talking about before the break, you know, Coach Tackett, obviously you want to end the season a little better than what you are getting here in this state semifinal game. But, again, let's consider the fact that this young Tomcat team found themselves one game away from a state championship. And, uh, you know, 
knowing that a lot of these kids are coming back next season, you know, well, Coach Tackett's got to be pretty happy with what he's got to build on, no? Oh, yeah, he's a, he has a lot to be excited about. And, I mean, you look at sometimes these types of pains happen. For example, as Ashland looking to make some mass substitution, well, that's handed off to Malachi Embers for, for Cal. I mean, look at this Cal team the past two seasons. Yeah, they, oh, they, they had, had some similar growing situation. Pains, yeah. they, they, they got late in the season. They had an undefeated mm -hmm. season, lost in the state semifinals. Here they yeah. are now, finally punching through and most likely you know, at 43-7 and running clock in the fourth quarter, mm -hmm. most likely on their way to Lexington. Yes, yeah, Landon Eden makes the hit. Second completion for Daniels. But um, that's what happened a couple years ago. Uh, I mean, Cal was blown out by Elizabethtown in the state semis. Um, and then the next year, they had, they had largely a team like – I mean, this was largely their group last year, and they anticipated coming in, win it at all, but wasn't able to pull away against Tillman, who would advance to the state finals in a classic game and lose a classic against Belfry. But third and three now for – yeah, but uh, look at 2019, Ashland would lose, come in, and, I mean, was expected to be a close game. Belfry would win 41-7, to but instead, as that's going to be a first down for Cal, good push up front, and that's Vazana on the carry, and he's going to get four yards and a first. Vazana, the freshman, getting some good minutes here late in the game in the mm -hmm. semifinals. Yeah, good learning experience for him, and, that's Troy Gardner, number six, on the tackle. But that's Fazano. Let's see, I have him at three carries, ten yards, and a first down now as the young guys get in. But um, there's a, um, it's a it's a process. And after that loss to Belfry, Ashland knuckled down in the weight room. They knuckled down in the offseason. And 2020 resulted in one of the historic Tomcat seasons. Yeah. Their first uh, as they fake oh, it and they go it. deep to the end zone. And – caught so a little bit of trickery on that one as Malachi Embers Embers the gets the touchdown yeah. catch yeah the the pump by Daniels froze the corner and Embers just ran him off yeah Daniels with that I think his third touchdown completion if I recall right they faked it and I don't know about running a play like that at this point of the game, but they'll have the opportunity yeah. now to come in and take the PAT. Yeah, I have a feeling that the Ashland coaching staff will remember that play yeah. for a long time. Yeah, that's just not. And um, uh, we'll look forward to the opportunity to draw even. Oh, road. yeah. Yeah. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Hey, this is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you, and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. Town TV, so so Cal scores on a 20-yard touchdown pass. About to, as they're going to kick off again. Yeah, that thing that can sometimes. Yeah, you know, you make those decisions. To that was pretty run classless. Like I that mean, one. yeah, that was classless, especially a Christian school. As this was kicked off, as Braxton Jennings returns it and. Gets to about the 20, and don't get me wrong, I, I mean, that their team's terrific. Um, they'll definitely have a shot at winning it all, but they're representing a bigger cause as that's going to be 
uh, they get to the 20, and we'll see what the officials gathering to discuss. But a good young crew. They have. I mean, Daniels has gotten a boatload of experience, especially for somebody, you know, at the varsity level. Because yeah. you see a lot of backups. I mean, they'll be lucky to throw five passes, five to ten at most in a season. Daniels has thrown 35, and of course, I mean, he's shown. I think he'll definitely be, um, definitely be a valuable asset to this team. Um, you know, both now and in the future yeah. for Cal and. Um, and they, yeah, Ashland now go. Looks like there are timeouts taken, so we'll just keep it here. But that clock actually stopped now. I thought these running clock situations as yeah, it looks like are, there was a personal foul against Ashland. So yeah, they're marching off ten, and Ashland now will start on their own ten yard line. Tyler. And I think as things started to get a little chippy, Coach Tackett called a timeout to bring his yeah. guys in. To and him. that's what those types of play yeah. calls do yeah. um, in games as um, as that's going to be. So getting everybody calmed down now. So Ashland come out. We'll talk about these young guys some with Conway in at quarterback now. Conway, who had a nice game in the Kiwanis Bowl as he hands it off up the middle and um, – and that'll be a gain of four yards as Nichols, the junior, carries it. Nichols, who had a 16-yard touchdown run in the first round of the playoffs. Vazana on the tackle. So Vazana getting in there a little bit at all angles as he has 10 yards rushing and now a tackle defensively, the young guy for, for Cal. sure, I'm sure Cal fans will be calling Vazana's name quite a bit in the future as it's second and six now for the Tomcats and bobbled snap Conway's going to carry it and he's tackled a good a good tackle we'll see who that is that is number 24 that's John Kobal the one the junior who comes in and makes a tackle on that play and Tyler looks like Ironton is going to go through. Three minutes to go. They pushed ahead 35-21, so Ironton punching their card wow. for the state championship. And you know week. Ironton, look at Ironton who yeah. had, a, had fell short twice in 19 and 20 and, of course, lost to Wheelersburg last year, looking to, looking to punch it in, win it all this year as it's going to be a quarterback sweep, Conway around the right side, looking to get that first down and a flag, though. Our yeah, correction, Sam that's Lyons, Lyons yeah. apologies, as Lyons carries it. Lyons, the freshman who – Lyons had a kickoff return for a touchdown in the Kiwanis Bowl. If you're watching from Louisville, this is our – this is a big game yeah. for the freshman game. That'll be a hold against Ashland, their second penalty tonight. But um, – You mentioned Sam Lyons, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Sam Lyons, his grandfather, Les Lyons, played for Ashland, won mm -hmm. a state championship, and then – finished out uh, his college career playing for the University of Kentucky. Yeah, wow. And that's a neat neat thing to share, Chris. And, yeah, Sam looking to no doubt about Also a good basketball player is Sam. And, um, yeah, the Kiwanis Bowl he played. And in the past it's been, of course, it started between the what well, was two middle schools, Putnam and Coles in Ashland, when they consolidated or merged, um, they – so Ashland will have a third and 11 now, but when they merged and became Verity, then uh, Ashland, uh, the freshman, would play against Russell for many years. However, Russell has not always had the numbers, but th they've been playing Boyd County. They played Boyd this year. This one's handed off to Cam Davis, and he's going to get two, maybe three. So that'll be fourth and about um, eight before Cobal again, and that's number 41. That's Nate, Nate Ehrenborg on the tackle. It's like Asher Atkins is going to come on to punt here, Tyler. But we'll take a quick break and come back. You're watching My Town TV. Return. 
Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. We're back as Ashland now, Asher Adkins, the junior and a pump, low snap, and it's kicked way out there. That's going to take an Ashland bounce as it goes back to the 43 of Cal. That's yeah, about all he could do with it, that snap, a uh, two hopper to Adkins. Yeah. Was able to get it away. I don't away. think Cal lined up really to return it. They um, did not. So they, and I'm guessing they, Look for something. So now Cal will come back out, and Colin Daniels will lead the team in. Follow Cal Athletics on Twitter for Centurion Athletic news and game updates. Cal Athletics at Centurion AD. So Cal first and ten on the 43-yard line, and that's Daniels and trying to see who that <laughs> to get the. Number in the backfield, that's handed off up the middle. And good good little, good, good, some good moves there. That's Jalen McRoberts, one of the seniors on this team. So McRoberts will get five. And Tyler, if nothing changes in the Bardstown, Bardstown Mason game, it will be Cal taking on Bardstown as Bardstown has a 28-20 lead late in the fourth quarter wow, against Bar Mason County. <laughs> Bardstown, we've had a lot of fun against them in basketball. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, love love Coach Boo Brewer and what's uh, James Boo Brewer, a great player for Louisville in the late 80s, early 1990s, and has gone on to be an amazing coach for Bardstown as Ashland's had the opportunity to play against them. As it's handed off to McRoberts, right side, and, hey, the senior's going to plow through and get seven more for a first down. Oh, Jalen McRoberts coming through for his team. Logan DeBoard on the tackle. So first down on the ground for him. So Cal now on the Ashland 45 here with four minutes to go here in the fourth. Again, running clock scenario. And ball's fumbled, but recovered by McRoberts. Tyler, is that the first lost yardage for Cal in this game? No, actually, Ashland got um, Ashland got Copenhaver in the backfield That's one right. time That's early. That's right, early. So now second and 12 for, for Cal. As the ball's handed off McRoberts again, he's going to carry left side, cut back, Ooh. stay on his feet and get close to a first down. I'd sure be having, have a, <laughs> happy having a backup <laughs> running back that can <laughs> do that. That'll be a gain of 10 for the senior, 20 yards on, or 11, 21 yards on four carries and a first down for him as he's gotten some play in here late. Third and one now for Cal. And they stay with the single back formation as Daniels again to McRoberts. Big push up front. McRoberts is going to plow through for a few more. And that's going to be a gain of 10 and a first down, so 30 on five for McRoberts. 31 on five for McRoberts as we approach the two-minute mark here in the fourth quarter. And, Tyler, as we approach the end of this game, it's, uh, of course, our last 
football game we will cover this year on My Town TV. It's been a terrific season. I've enjoyed watching you and our other uh, broadcasters call games for Greenup, Russell, Ashland, Boyd, and Ironton all season. And, you know, we switch gears right after this one, and we mm-hmm. are immediately in uh, in into basketball season. In fact, coming up this week, we will start our basketball schedule and uh, look for that to be posted soon on the My Town TV Facebook page, Twitter account, all forms of social media. We will give updates on our broadcast schedule for basketball as we try to cover all five of those schools as uh, as the season rolls on. Yes, yeah, so thank you, Chris. A lot you've done on the, a lot, so much. More things than I yeah. could count and say in a one-and-a-half-minute run here yeah. that um, for our athletes and for my town. And um, believe me, if you're listening to this, um, I mean, what Chris has done has been – he, he won't admit it. He's a humble guy, but he's done some unbelievable things here as Daniels takes a, another knee. That'll be third and 13 now, which they're obviously just going to take take knees to run this thing out. But Except I think Coach Cantwell is about to get a bath, and he does not know it's coming, although I think he's now figured it out. <laughs> he, <laughs> listen, he's going <laughs> to – He'll take a penalty before he takes a bath right now. (laughs) So, So Christian Academy of Louisville will advance to the state finals and play, I believe, Bardstown. Am I, if I'm... So they will play, looks like Bardstown. No, so. uh, Mason just or tied no. it up, wow. 28-28. That's ah. Uh, so they will play the winner of Bardstown <laughs> and Mason County. Congratulations to them as the teams are in handshakes, and we're going to take a break here and come back for post-game. You're, t- you're watching My Town TV. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. It is important to know where your food comes from. We source the best meats from the best animals. We are passionate about the animals and the process by offering custom and USDA processing services. At AW Meat House, we are a cut above the rest. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug, your hometown pharmacy and so much more. Back to wrap things up from Christian Academy of Louisville here on My Town TV. And uh, we want to thank Clark's Pump and Shop for allowing us to bring you all of this state semifinal action tonight as we see the Cal Centurions celebrating at midfield as they lift their semifinal trophy. They will head to Lexington next week to take on the winner of Mason and Bardstown, who happens to be knotted up at 
28 right now. So, Tyler, it's been a pleasure calling this game with you. You too, man. And for the last time this season, let's hear your stats. I'll start with Cal for Hodge. We have, let's see, 10. <laughs> right, if I read my, the way I write this down, I, I even have art trouble reading my own handwriting. Um, 13, 10, I have Hodge at 12 of 15 for 147, three touchdowns through the air. Um, I have Copenhaver, in my opinion, offensively. He's the one that did the – yeah, by huge gashes, 156 yards on eight carries as, as he surpassed. And actually, before I go to him, Hodge, congratulations on picking up touchdown number 50 on the year, rushing and passing as he has 44 through the air now and eight on the ground. And Copenhaver, though, ran for a touchdown, a 70-yard run, and had 156 yards on eight carries tonight, passing 1,000 on the year. Um, Hodge had 62 on five, including a 34-yard run in the first half. Um, Vizana had 10 on three. Cotton had eight on one, a pitch play. Embers had one for two. Um, and then, wow, so Mart Bardstown, so Bardstown some time left, takes though. the 35-28 yeah. lead late. That one's shaping up to be a classic McRoberts. Had, came in late and had 31 on five and a couple first downs. Daniels finished. I had him three for three for 28 yards and a touchdown. Of receiving, I had Ruffin at four for 48, a touchdown. Um, Cotton, three for 12. Hodge, two for 39, a touchdown of 31 yards. Copenhaver, a 16-yard touchdown reception. McKinley, the tight end, two for 29. And Wilson, I had a uh, one for four. And then um, for Ashland, I had Strader um, passing the ball. Let's see. Two, four, five. Uh, reading my own handwriting is <laughs> sometimes I had him at 11 of 19 for 125 through the air. Jennings, I had the numbers for Jennings look a little bit deceptive. 59 on 17. Uh, not a great night, to, but he, like, by numbers, but he definitely had an impact running yeah. the ball. He had a couple real good runs. Strader, 24 on nine. Thomas, four on two. Davis had one for four. Receiving Houston finishes with four for 79. Jordan with three for 17. Adkins, one for 10. Jennings, one for 13. And Brown had one for three. Well, Tyler? Ashland has no reason to hang their heads. They're the regional champions. They lost yeah. in the semifinals to a team that is probably uh, the favorite to win 3A this year in Cal. And, you know, for Coach Tackett, a lot of positives to draw from this season leading into next year. If you're a Tomcat fan, while the sting of losing this one 50-7, it still burns, you can walk away from this football season knowing that your team is ready and built for the future. Oh, yeah, and that's well said because you look at the – I mean, in 1989, Ashland had a disappointing loss to Belfry. Belfry went up 24 to nothing, and I think they won that game 31-14, if I recall right. And then yeah. uh, in 2019, they had a 41-7 to stinger also against Belfry. Um, they had some – tough. it yeah. takes some time to get there, a tough loss. And these yeah. seniors, you look at guys like Ian Justice, like Isaiah Ingram – um, I mean, their footprint will forever Absolutely. be on this program with what they've accomplished here, especially with these young guys. Ingram, who picked up a ring in 2020 as part of that squad, and and um, and Justice, of course, on that offensive line up front, um, an outstanding player this year. He stepped in last year after not playing football for years, and um, – and, you know, for almost a decade and became a leader that may – his career may not be over So in football. So And so many more Tomcats on this senior class that have come in and have really left their mark on these young guys. So for one final time, we want to thank our friends at Clark's Pump and Shop for making this broadcast possible tonight. And, you know, the next time you hear us, it will be Ashland fans. It will be from the friendly confines 
of James A. Anderson Gymnasium as Coach Ryan Bonner and his Tomcats are set to take on a difficult schedule this season. So make sure you tune in for those games. And for my partner in crime, Tyler Rowland, and our production crew of Josh Pack and Jeremy Sutherland, I want to thank you for joining us this football season. And until next time, so long, everybody. People's Bank's vision is to be the best community bank in America. We strive to use our knowledge, talents, and resources to improve the quality of life in our communities. This year, People's Bank is celebrating our 120th anniversary by delivering 120 acts of kindness. These acts of kindness bring us just as much joy as to those that receive them. People's Bank, working together, building success. This is Greg Gibson with Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. With our ease of operations, we have the ability to come to you and we will make it happen for you. I trusted my family to it. I want to help you trust your family to it. It's Greg Gibson Insurance and Financial Services. We're trying to help you make the right call. We take pride in our schools. And at King's Daughters, we take pride in being part of the team. With student athlete care from the sidelines to our comprehensive orthopedics program, with walk-in hours in Ashland and Portsmouth that make seeing a provider easier than ever. Our team is delivering faster diagnosis and treatment, getting our student athletes back in the game and back to what they do best. Orthopedics at King's Daughters. At Gillum Drug, we are more than just a community pharmacy offering an unrivaled experience with excellent customer service. So why would you go anywhere else? Gillum Drug your hometown pharmacy, and so much more.